What's up? Hi! I'm Guy. <laughs> I'm Adam. And we are judges on a little show called The X Factor, and we are live on Facebook. This is my first Facebook live thing, I think. Yeah? Yeah. It's just very exciting. I just got fa uh, Facebook. I was on MySpace. You just got it? Yeah. My, you, wait, been what? on MySpace, yeah. For how long? Wait, you just got off of MySpace? Yeah. That's even, that even exists? MySpace? Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's, isn't that what all the kids are doing now? <laughs> No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. good. I was like, <laughs> oh my, I was like, I, I don't know what to say. I don't quite know how to tell them. Got news for you. Yes, but this I think the my first ever live stream thing. thing. Yeah. Have you done this before? I think I've done a few of these before. Yeah. 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 And well, and you guys are all logging on now. Yeah. Uh -huh. can see, we can see all of you. Is there anyone actually percolating? Watching? Is there are you there? Watching? Are you out there? You know, this is live, remember, it's live, so if you just write your comments and questions below... We will see them. Yeah, and we can even acknowledge them, and yeah. maybe even answer some. Yeah. And in, in a normal setting, if, it, if we were doing like a Facebook Live thing at home or something, we would physically probably read the comments and stuff, but we have minions here. We do. Who are doing that process for You us. there! <laughs> this guy here, he's... Um, hey Shelly! You've got a question, apparently. What is Shelly's question? Um, Oh, Shelly oh, asked, right. uh, if you two were Spice Boys, mm. which ones would you be? And which Spice Girl do you think Iggy would be? Iggy, okay. So if you had a, is that, so if, like, if, if we were part of the, would, could they do that? I guess you could if make it into a co-ed group. Like a, Maybe. If they added a, some boys to their mix. Well, let's start with us. For what spice would you be? Cinnamon. Cinnamon spice. Yeah, just cinnamon. I would be... Like, like um, one name, you know, like Prince, Cinnamon. Yeah, I'd be um, coming or coming. Coming? Like, <laughs> coming! What's up, man? <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Coming to get you. Coming right at you. Right. Uh, <laughs> Which one would Iggy be? Iggy would be paprika or something. Paprika? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it has to actually be a spice. I like. Quite I know. I got really literal with like the kitchen. We did yeah. very. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's all. <laughs> um, next. All right. Um, from Chloe, what's your favorite movie? What's yours? I'm not very good with favorites. I can always do like maybe a top five. What about the Justin and Kelly movie? <laughs> <laughs> from Justin and Kelly, not on the list. Uh, no, actually, one of my favorite movies is a movie called Velvet Goldmine. Oh wow! Velvet Goldmine. Check it out. It's a really cool movie. It's about glam rock and oh, nice. it's really cool. Yeah, I have to say, my favorite actor is Tom Hanks. I just love Tom Hanks, and so like a few of his appear in my top ten. But Forrest Gump. Yeah, that's I a just, good one. When that came out, it's I a was really good movie. Mind blown. It's it's amazing. Not a smart man, Jenny, but I know what love is. <laughs> Fried shrimp, mm. shrimp gumbo. My legs are just fine, thank you. <laughs> shrimp stew. <laughs> shrimp, shrimp, shrimp kebabs, eat, shrimp, <laughs> shrimp pizza, shrimp cocktail. That, that's about all. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie. Um, Adam, Jenny, Jenny. Jenny, I love you, Jay. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. <laughs> My legs are just fine, and Dan, thank you. My mama says they can take me anywhere. <laughs> From that moment on, wherever I was going, I was running. <laughs> uh, next, all right. Would you two ever do a single together? Leanne, you know, you never know. Anything is possible. We yeah. definitely get along quite well. We so, do. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Adam and his voice. He's a freak. Did and you I... guys hear his single, The Candle Song? Candle? Great. Thank you. I didn't curse. I, I almost curse. <laughs> I thought, I'm great. Yeah. It's flipping great. It's flipping great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have um, Lucy. Yeah, what is Lucy? Lucy. Adam, what's it like to work with Guy and Guy? What's it like? To, what is it like to work with me? Well, Lucy, um, I, I <laughs> during the audition process, I was noticing that Guy had really good comments for the singers, and like, I think a lot of the times I would sit there and kind of go, "Oh yeah," like I would think what I was going to tell them or talk to them about, and then if he went first, he usually kind of had the same for the most part. That's exactly about eight out of ten times. Me yeah. too. And every once in a while we would split, but I mean, he's, it's because he's very smart, you know? Well, we've been through very similar things, yeah. you know, I guess. I mean, yeah. you went through a crazy time with, yeah. with American Idol. I, I did the equivalent over here. Yeah. 
And so I guess we've been through this process and, and we um, got a bit of empathy. We know what these guys are going through. So I guess that might ha have something to do with why we're always yeah. sort of on the same page or looking for the same things. Um, but like on a non-show level, just on a personal level, it's been great. Like, oh, we've got along. I don't think we've really disagreed that much. We've agreed on tequila as the spirit of choice. Yes, I mean, have. that's really the first step. You introduced me to class as well. Yeah, so we've, I'm introducing some hot, exotic exported tequilas. Yes. Yeah. I've introduced yeah. you to Session. That's right. That's and right. I loved it. That's good. See? There'll be a, a bit of that really all consumed. Takes. 18 plus, of course. Lyle, 18 plus. Yeah, of course. Lyle. Drink responsibly. What's Lyle Don't drive. Lyle says, who's going to be the mean judge, judge this year? The mean judge. Mel. But she, she's a bit spicy, isn't she? Yeah. See she did there? Me, yeah, it's good. She's like, scary. scary. She is like... She's, she's real. She's, she's real. real. She's honest. She's so funny. I love Mel. She's so funny. But um, you wouldn't want to be on the wrong side of her. Yeah, probably not. She's yeah. tough. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, she is scary. I mean, I don't think any of us are mean. I mean... Mm. I guess you could interpret that like you know if she's gonna be the brutally honest one then I guess yeah we'll, you know. I, I think the mean thing is a little kind of outdated you know I think yeah. when these shows first came out there was someone who would sit there and be witty and now I think everyone just sits there and just goes well that that's just bullying you know I feel like yeah. I feel like these shows have come a long way since then and we're about nurturing but trying to be brutally honest as well you've got to be honest like I, I've done this for a few years and I've and I've actually seen the danger of not being honest right and 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 you know because we have people that come back year after year some of them who are completely tone deaf you know, <laughs> and, and cannot sing legit like I heard a couple sing. of those during the audition and they keep coming back and their story is like I I quit my job to do this and my parents support me. You said you liked it last time, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. And so yeah. I'd rather tell someone who, and you know, like it's not being mean, you know that someone's never going to be like a famous singer. They're not going to be famous for their voice, you know, like if they're tone deaf and have yeah. no rhythm. Like, And this, the music industry is not very easy or forgiving, so. No. Especially it's, it's tough love is deaf. good. Mm -hmm. Especially. And remember, we're live. We're so. live right now. Type your comments into the uh, in comment real, section real time. of Facebook. All right. Mitchell says, which underdogs would you save if you were Mel B? Hmm. There was like a whole, there was a, it, uh, the three seat challenge was so difficult because three yeah. seats are, weren't enough. I mean, I. Who would I, you save in your own category? Well, I, you know, if I could have had a top five, I would have been a lot happier. Yeah. I think, um, I think Vlado was really, it was hard to say goodbye to him. Because he could, he definitely feels like an artist, um, and Ivy was hard to say goodbye oh, to. Had a hard a time beast. with that. She's a great singer. That was difficult because she was really good. It was, it wasn't easy. Yeah. What about yours? I really liked Zebulon. Yeah. I thought he had something cool. It was unstable, as you know. Like he'd, he'd yeah. be great one performance and then quite shaky. But yeah, I liked him. Something. I was pulling for him too. Like I liked yeah. his his story and his personality. He's yeah. like a good guy. I liked Ruby Mills. Oh, she was good, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It was really tough. Yeah. Obviously, I got quite criticised. It's not an easy. It's not an easy thing to to do. No, and and there's also there's a lot that people don't see True. as well. You know, like we we don't we don't just make decisions based on you know thirty seconds or ten seconds, which is sometimes what you guys see. Um, and you don't know whether that's the 10 seconds that is like the best part of their performance or like the 10 seconds that's the worst. And also, um, you know, we wanted to, I think, I think we all wanted to have a team of singers that were all very different. So you have a yeah. variety. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you have like three of the same type of singer, it's not going to be as exciting for the audience at home. So. Yeah. So for me, it was kind of out of China and Ruby. Like, wh yeah. Because they're both think? like soulful mm -hmm. singers. China's a beast, man. Yeah. She can sing. Wait till you hear her in lots of time. This isn't the right time. Um, it's 5 o'clock now, 5.06 in two hours. Do we start at 7? You know, once I was so late, I walked out literally like they'd started the show. Mm -hmm. Luke started the show and they, the, the question, the first question at the top of the show was directed to me. Yeah. And so... I literally walked out and he'd already asked the question and I sat down and answered it. No one knew. Hello. It was like, well, Luke. Uh, and you then know. you exhale. But now I'm not, I'm not late anymore, hopefully. Not all the time. But
that, but I've, I used to be bad. Like, I have I have a horrible sense of time management. It's, I'm, I'm the worst. Yeah. I have to have people that help me with that. Yeah. We have a question from Chow. Is any of you guys confident enough to win against Mel and Iggy? Is we? I think it we is. <laughs> I think we is too. <laughs> I um, I have a, I I have really good singers on my. They're just they're all three of them are, are phenomenal. Um, it so, would suck to lose to Mel. Being at this point, dog. yeah, it would be because yeah. she's pulling stuff that we said no to. So it would sort of be like rubbing our face in it in a way, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, I, I feel confident. I, I, um, yeah, I, I definitely think I've got, I took a massive risk with Davey Woda. He, he's, um, you know, he, he's a, a bit of a loose cannon and that's what I like about him. You kind of never know what you're going to get. But Certainly then, interesting. Yeah. yeah. But then when push t comes to shove, he just takes it up a notch. And so I've battled with him all week with trying to kind of get a full performance out of him, but he's so scatty and all over yeah. the place that for one of the first times in my life as you know, as a judge, I actually don't know what's going to happen tonight. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. But you know what? Those are the people that make magic sometimes. Exactly. Kind of slightly crazy people. Yeah. I take it from me. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a little bit crazy. But I've got, I've got Timmy and China as well, so I, I think I've it's got a good... Team. A good yeah. I mean, I'm still going to win, but... It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's... <laughs> Vinny. What's up? Hey, Vinny. Vinny. What are you most excited about this season? Because, I mean, for me, I, I'm excited because I've never done this before, so I'm really, I'm really excited to be here. I'm having a great time helping everybody. But you've done this now how many years? Um, I did it for three years, and I took a break. Three or four years. Three, three years, I think. And then I took a break for a couple of years, yeah. and then... Um, Came back last so you year. have like a lot of perspective on this, you know, like on watching it over the years. Yeah, I love, you know, forgetting that we're live right now, but even though we are. Um, it's a pretty rewarding thing mm. that we're doing. It's pretty sick because you, you sort of, you get to the end of it and, and, and you see people, sometimes not just the winner, but others as well who go on to have careers and do what they love to do and you're a part of it and yeah. you chose songs for them and you dress them and you, yeah. it's a pretty cool feeling. But also, like I was saying to you yesterday, lives are so fun and they go so fast. Yeah, um, Because auditions are punishing. I hate the auditions. Like, I never <laughs> make that a secret. I hate doing <laughs> auditions. Because you're there for, I mean, some of those days it like was a bit 16 long, yeah. hours. And it's hard, and, it, and I think the one thing, the other thing about auditions that's hard is that the people that get up there that don't realize they're not very good. Yeah. It's kind of, sometimes it's hard to tell people the truth when they're... Well, you just feel like an ass you feel like, yeah, hours you feel mean, and hours. Yeah. You just feel mean because you're just yeah. going, sorry, no, yeah. like, I don't want to do that. I don't want, I don't want to do that. I don't want to say no to someone, but we have to. And, um, and, then, like, and then when that one person walks on stage that's incredible, it's yeah. sort of like... Lifts everything up, yeah. Definitely. And then each each round after that, when we kept cutting it down, got more and more exciting, in my opinion, because we were working with the the cream of the cream. Yes, exactly. Cream of the creams. Yes, we didn't. Creme de la creme. The ratio of crap to good was narrowed down. Narrowed down, down <laughs> yeah. It was cool. Heather, if your contestants had to sing one of your songs, which song would you suggest to them? Mm. Guy. Um. I don't know. I mean, one of my songs, Battle Scars, has a rap in it, so that's gonna. I sing the rap when I do it live, but I think that kind of narrows it down a bit. So I, I would probably say, um, if it's gonna show off a voice, I, I, I'm. I, I told you yesterday I'm releasing a song on Friday or something. Mm -hmm. It's called Set in Stone, and that's a, like a my description to you yesterday was it's a singer's song yeah like you, you, it, it really there's nowhere to hide it's just like piano and voice and it's really super high mm -hmm. and cool. gonna suck balls singing it live I can't wait to see like, to hear this song um, but um, yeah I'll play it for you I was gonna play yeah. it for you yesterday. yeah I wanna hear it maybe the new one and uh, and then I'm plugging it as well. It's called Set in Stone. Get it next week on well, Friday. Well, well done. My, my plugs. <laughs> Tanya's got one for you. Who has been your favorite audition this year? Tanya asks. Mm -hmm. Favorite audition. We got Delhi. That 
Oh, some of those started. crazy ones? Yeah. <laughs> that. The guy that cut his leg? That was the craziest thing. They didn't show that thing. on TV. They didn't? No. No. There was a dude. This I don't is live. Know, Here we I go. I don't know if you remember this guy. He was like seven foot tall. And he was he wearing was short shorts and high heels. High heels. And he was dancing. He was like Scandinavian, like a typical sort of Swedish looking guy. Like good looking dude. Massive, long, hairy legs with was these. He, wasn't he Italian? He was Italian. He was, yeah, yeah he was but Italian. he was Swedish looking, wasn't he? Was like, blonde, <laughs> like a Viking. Like, yeah. yeah, he looked like a Viking. But uh, he came right up to the judge's desk, and it's like sharp perspex. Like, there's an X right in front of like the desk. Yeah, there's like 3D pieces, and then he was really dancing for his life. And he's like do, doing these like drops, like in his high heels. Yes, and, and he's, he's giving dropped. us his best Rihanna impression. Where yeah. did he slice it? On the... He sliced his whole leg. Wasn't it his lower leg? He sliced his leg so hard. Didn't realize it. Kept going, kept going, and, and as blood's he, just going. Yeah, like <laughs> tripping all over the stage. He walked back up. He finished the number, and as he was dancing, still we were all like, "Oh God, that's yeah. like a really deep gash." And he stopped, and we were all like, "And he kept hiding it." If that was me, he kept I'd be like, "It's okay, it's okay, everything's for fine." For my heart, for my eyes. I mean, it was gnarly. He was, you know, he was in hospital. Yeah, right? for like yeah, two like or three days. Yeah, like of stitches because it cut through the muscle. He needed surgery, plastic surgery, like to like do something. Apparently. That's commitment. I mean, I, I have hat, hats off to him. That was for, memorable. He kept going. Yeah. That's. Yeah, which, which is what it takes, folks. Just if, like Beyonce. You want to be noticed. You got to sort of um, go for it. yourself. My horrible. my other favorite audition was I remember feeling like Amalia really oh, blew my hair back. Just about to say. Amalia. And China. China was good. China. I think was one of those things where we peaked really early too, because she was like she the, was one first of the first days. Yeah. Amazing ones. Yeah. She, but she, she hasn't. She's unflappable. She hasn't. Yeah, it's so consistent. That's what I'm so impressed yeah. by. So I'm really excited. To I see hope she gets night. really far in this. Yeah. Um, we've got a live show. So. Oh, that's it. It's that's too it. short. Thank Come back for the next one, guys. It's been awesome to do this here on MySpace, on, <laughs> on Facebook. Get in your time machine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. We'll see you tonight, at seven yeah. o'clock. We're live on channel seven. Yes. Yeah. It's this gonna be great. Real. This has been real. And we're gonna even change outfits, so you get to see some new fashion. Yes. <laughs> I'm not changing. No. No, this is it. Oh. Well, I'm gonna change it every chance I get. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you guys some looks. Okay. I shaved my beard as well. You know what I was gonna do? What? This show, the beard shave thing. Am I going too long? Is this? <laughs> so, I had a beard recently, and I was trimming it, and it's one of the pieces of like you know you put the attachment yeah, yeah, yeah. it fell to the ground and oh, I looked down it. and but oh. I was still holding the thing and I've gone <laughs> and I've looked in the mirror and I'm like oh crap there was like this massive line so I just went bugger you could have started like a new trend of like like striped striped yeah. beard art I did that when I was in school I did like two the eyebrows in my eye. yeah maybe <laughs> someone could start doing that with like beards like yeah. sectionals but I was actually going to do it just to mess with the producers and mess with all because we always get like conspiracy theorists out there that think like it's not live it's rigged and it's not live and it's like this and that <laughs> and so I was going to during the ad break run into my dressing room and shave Can't do it and, just, and just sit down like nothing, nothing. <laughs> but anyway we are we have to wrap we're getting this a lot so I've got to go I've got to get changed we go, oh we're recording someone soon we can't say can we it's a secret alright tune in alright <laughs>